but college football fans are passionate. No one knows that better than coaching families. Philip Fulmer's daughters grew up in the Rocky Top spotlight and they gladly offered their support to the Pruitt family. Recently, we reflected on that 98 championship season, but also talked game day rituals, superstitions, and mixing football and family. You always have to be ready for the good and the bad. Every season, I knew we needed to win every game. Not one, not two, but every game. For Vicki Fulmer and her daughters, Allison, Courtney, and Brittany, life revolved around football. I think every season starts the same. You're nervous. And we were always taught, you know, you never know what could happen. Win or lose, the entire community is affected. When I married Philip, first thing he told me, do you know anything about football? No. She quickly learned, and while Fulmer coached the team, she commanded their family. We teach them, um, you know, how to handle success and also to ha handle disappointment in a public eye. You learn not to take it too personally, either way, you know, whether they love him or hate him. Vicki intentionally moved the family to Maryville to give the girls a buffer. You're just sm a smidge removed from, you know, directly being close to campus. And I had a really good group of core friends. We were very fortunate that we had a great coaching staff that was an extension of our family. And when the girls were old enough, Vicki insisted they have access to the sideline just like coaches' sons and experience game day traditions with their dad. The emotions were always really high on game day. Pre-game routine was always the same. Keep mom happy. PGS, pregame syndrome. And so they knew not to mess with me that morning. If I could just be on time and not cause problems, because things happened to me, Beth. If I said, you know, be ready at a certain time, they knew they needed to be ready or I was gone. They'd meet Fulmer at the Vol Walk. And had our one place that we stood, and I think that was really special. Run through the tea. Most of the time you're trying to pay attention and make sure you don't get run over. And win or lose they'd meet up on the sideline. In that two minutes, you win or lose, you were always, or win at the 98 season. You tapped out on the shoulder and said, behind you know, I'm behind you. you, you know that we're here. And then he would grab our hand and go to the middle of the field. In addition to traditions, they also had superstitions. Yeah, I had superstitions that were different every year. Every Friday, I would look at the sunset, and every time it was more orange, I, I thought it was like a superstition that... Oh, it's going to be a win. At the national championship, I carried a lucky penny. And um, that lucky penny, I think we framed it. One year, I thought I was bad luck on away games, so I never went. It was just unbelievable memories. 37 years later, we're still here. So just really thankful for, you know, all of the relationships that are still with me today. And we mentioned yesterday, Allison, the youngest Fulmer daughter, just gave birth to a baby girl. Yeah, so the Fulmer it. family growing, and we congratulate the family. And they just have such great insight. And the family has been so dedicated to Knoxville. They've stayed. They're still involved with nonprofits and really set an example, I think, for Vol Nation. Oh, done so much. And, you know, watching them after they win was always cool. Mm -hmm. Even watching them after they lost, mm -hmm. to watch how they still bonded together, it was really special, you know. You know